Mr. Chairman, Secretary General, Excellencies, good afternoon. I thank the government of Romania for its warm welcome and generous hospitality. I assure you, Chair, of the full support of the Mauritius delegation. Mr. Chairman, Mauritius is a small island developing state in the Indian Ocean. People have heard of it as a tourist destination, yet if you ask them to place it on a map, they may feel challenged. As many small islands, it suffers from the tyranny of distance and thus has always been compelled to make significant efforts to remain connected to the world. The digitalization journey of this small island has been pursued despite constraint and has required sacrifice. Allow me to share some of the steps taken with the ITU family. Mauritius has fully completed the deployment of fiber to the home and broadband internet penetration currently stands at 144%. Mobile penetration is at 151%. Internet connectivity stands at 99%. This will further increase with the coming into operation of a fourth submarine cable around mid of 2023. Last year, Mauritius started deployment of 5G mobile networks. We are digitalizing all government services with creation of a digital identity system, MOPAS, to authenticate government online transactions and e-payments, an info-highway data sharing platform for sharing exchange of citizens' information, the MoCloud platform, which is a digital safe for citizens, and the MoSign certification authority, which allows the issue of digital certificates. We are already embarked on the e-health and the high-speed connectivity in secondary school projects. In primary schools, we are already providing robotics and coding courses. Mauritius is engaged in space technology and launched our first nanosatellite last year. We are also nearing the completion of AI and machine learning digital humanoid. Mauritius adopted last year the Cybersecurity and Cybercrime Act 2021, a modern framework aligned with the Budapest Convention on Cybercrime and the Malabo Convention on Data Protection and Cybersecurity. The Mauritius Emerging and Technologies Council is allowing us to harness more effecti effectively and efficiently new and emerging technologies. Excellencies, Mauritius has a tradition of a public-private partnership and this has been central to our progress. The pace at which we scale up our digitalization is dependent on both parties working in a coherent manner to harness the latest technology, create the operational framework for this. I share the step of Mauritius digital journey with the trust that if a small island developing state can make progress in a short span, albeit in a modest way, then surely together we can help bridge the digital gap that is giving rise to two worlds. The Mauritius candidature for the council membership is placed in this context. We stand ready to contribute to achievement of this goal. I thank you very much.